just for that. Start the day. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Right. The keeper, huh? Yep, there you go. go. Hi, do folks. Hey, it's Joe Henry, Lake of the Woods Tourism, and I'm with Greg Jones of Midwest Outdoors, yep. and we're out on the walleye capital of the world, Lake of the Woods, catching walleyes and saugers today. Stay tuned. We're going to have some good action today, no doubt. What do you got, Greg? I got a fish. Oh, boy. Just a little sauger. Yeah. Here. You never got to the bottom. So folks, right now I got uh, I got some fish in the bottom. What I'm doing is I'm shaking, and it, oh, there it is. Look at that. See that perfect timing. One thing nice about using electronics is you can tell the mood of the fish. You can tell if there's fish down there. Look at that. Nice auger. Boy, did he eat that thing? He wanted it, didn't he? Hey. Tell you what, this doesn't get old. No. <laughs> They're biting pretty good. <laughs> Here, look at this. Go, go, go. Nice solder. Yeah. yeah, look at that. I'll tell you what, Greg, you know, one of the great things about going up the Lake of the Woods is uh, you, you got a, a lot of different options when it comes to lodging. Oh, yeah. And you know, uh, folks, uh, when you come up here, if you bring your own equipment, we have a lot of uh, hotels and, and uh, um, resorts and things that are all self-service. You can bring your own stuff, go out and fish on your own. There's a lot of ice roads and things up here. At the same time, if you want to go with one of our more full-service resorts, we have resorts that have bars and restaurants. They'll take you right to the fish house. Lots of great options when you're coming up to Lake of the Woods. I got one. Let's see if we can keep this one on. Got him, Joe. Yeah, here. Bubblegum. Cloudy days. Glows works out here really well. You got him. You never know what you're gonna get a Lake of the Woods. Is it a walleye? Is it a sauger? Big pole. Yep. Oh, well, it's good. Yeah, there you go. Well, that one. <laughs> the burbot. You know what they call that? They call that a boat with a pout. Eel pout or a burbot. Uh, right along here, you get the back strap meat above the rib cage. Then you get that tail meat. The last section of tail on both sides. What you do is you cube it, you boil it in either salt water or 7-Up. Then you can dip it in melted butter. Well, I'll tell you what, it tastes just like, it's got the consistency of lobster. Okay, now we're gonna get serious. I usually lose a little at this point. Oh, and I lost the last one. I got him. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> got it. Fish after fish. It's like not a bad thing, it's fun. You, there you go, another nice soccer. Oh, nice take go. that one. That's yep. good for the fry pan. Perfect. You know, folks, we uh, we happen to be just fishing during the day today, but you know what? Uh, you got a couple choices when you come to Lake of the Woods. You can rent a day house where you come out and just fish during the day and go back and stay in a in a hotel or a cabin. The other option is you can rent a sleeper fish house. Hey, it's uh, it's like ice camping on the ice. It's kind of fun too when you wake up in the morning and uh, throw a hat and sweatshirt on and just start jigging. Yeah. Oh, nice perch, Greg. Look at this. There you Whoa. go. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Ooh, jumbo. I'll tell you jumbo, what, when you uh, jumbo. what we all say, one thing about Lake of the Woods is you never know what you're gonna catch. That's a nice sauger. There's one for the bucket, for sure. But you know, folks, we uh, we happen to be fishing the South Shore Lake of the Woods right now, and I tell you, we got some great ice fishing going along the whole South Shore. Another option is the Northwest Angle. You know, to get up there, you actually drive through Canada 40 miles and then re-enter back into Minnesota. Got to have your credentials, passport, passport card, etc. Now, another way to get up there are the snowmobile trails. 42 miles, Groom Stake trails go up. There's also a bombardier service called Lake of the Woods Passenger Service, uh, Lake Country Air. You can actually fly up, almost like a fly-in, and land on the ice. A lot of good options to get up there as well, but uh, I think what we're going to do, Greg, with this one is we're going to get in the bucket because this is going to be our fish fry tonight. Fried pan material right there. Yeah. I'm catching them. Come on up here. That's a nice walleye, Joe. Right Boy, that is a nice yeah. walleye. Rip and wrap's doing good. Well, Greg, you know, one of the cool things is is that uh, obviously up at Lake of the Woods, we have an extended season. Yep, yeah, you know, and that's uh, generally it's December about 10th when the ice fishing gets going up here, you know, and it'll run all the way through March. They can have houses out here till the end of March, can't you, Joe? You can March 31st, yep. yep. No, another thing is the northern pike fishing. That goes all year here, isn't it? It does, yeah. yeah. Pike, pikes year round, walleyes and saugers go to April 14th. Get you next time. Snap. There you go. Let me see. 
get this guy up here, shall we? Look there you go. There we go. <laughs> nice job. So, I'll tell you what, Greg, we have had one heck of a day. It's been fishing, a real good day we? of fishing. Lots of hook sets today. Lots <laughs> of hook sets. You nice know, one, one of the things about Lake of the Woods, you never know what you're going to catch. We went through a lot of fish today, a lot of small ones, a lot of saugers, some nice walleyes, and uh, it's been just an incredible day. Hey, if you want to find out more about fishing Lake of the Woods, check out our website. It's Lake of the Woods. MN.com. Hey, for Greg Jones of Midwest Outdoors, I'm Joe Henry. More Midwest Outdoors coming up next. Nice one.